good morning. I came down to get one last look before I leave. I'm going to walk down the beach a little bit. I'm going to go this way this time instead of going that way like I went yesterday. So we're going to go back this way, see what we can see. Lake Michigan, Covert Beach, and Campground. So we're walking the beach. The waves aren't as uh, rough as they were yesterday when I showed you the video here. But it is still early in the day. Well, not early, early. It's uh, morning still. But that was in the afternoon when I shot that footage. So, it may pick up later in the day. But we're just walking along, enjoying the morning. Got my campground all packed up. And we're going to be heading out soon. My dad was buried here. I'm going to go by the cemetery. And talk to him for a little while. And my grandfather's there. And my grandfather that fought in the Civil War is there. So I'm going to pay my respects to all of them, and then I'm going to get on the road, headed back west, and you're going to come along with me to see all the sights and sounds and people along the way. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the trip, but we're going to have to start heading on back. We're going to be ease on down, ease on down the road. <laughs> All right, back in a little bit. Just came across some trees that have expired along the beach. Here's a pretty one. It's pink, like a pretty light pink. Interesting. I think I'll keep this one. Pink's not my favorite color, but what the hey? We'll rinse her off and take her home. Huh. Kind of cool. I did find some kids, I guess, were in my campsite before, and they painted some rocks. And they were kind of pretty, so I took the kid made painted, painted rocks instead of the nature made one. But I'm going to take the nature made one along. And you notice, too, how the rocks are smooth and round from all of the water bringing them up to the shore and then the sand wearing them down as wear. This is like the first, like, really jagged looking one that I've seen. It hasn't been in the long water long enough, but give it time. Mother Nature will tear it up. <laughs> She will tear it up. She will show him what for and why and all that good stuff. Nature is a powerful thing. You wait long enough and she'll change you. She'll change the earth. She'll change everything. Coming up to some lucky person that's got a house right up there or their little beach cabin. A lot of people come from Chicago 
on the weekends or some of them even have a second home here and that's only a couple of hours away if you fly no time at all they probably have ferries that you can take too that you can bring your car over instead of driving and just catch the ferry across have a nice leisurely relaxing time on the water watching the world go by as you head to southwestern Michigan to enjoy the beautiful beaches that we have here and there are a lot of them but I'll be back next year and I'll bring you guys along for that trip too and if they're not too shy, maybe you'll get, even get to meet some of my friends that I went to school with all those years ago. Oh, wow. That's not a beach shack. That's a Shangri-La, la, 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 la. Shangri-La, la 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 la. Lots of windows. All the better to see the beach, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm just being doggone plain silly. That's okay. Life is too serious sometimes. Sometimes you have to be silly or you'll cry. <laughs> somebody's sailboat up ahead oh and they got a volleyball net up they got everything they need right here for a fun time on the beach and if it's their beach it's private and they can have a fire on their beach if they want some places in Michigan you can have fires on the beach and some you can't. It just depends on what county, what township, blah, 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 powers that be, are regulating things, what you can do. So be on the safe side. Always research, research, research. That way you can't get yourself in trouble. Oh, it does say no trespassing right over there. So I can't go up that hill. But I can walk along this beach all I want to. Right? Right. As long as I don't go up yonder. It says no trespassing. Well, <laughs> I might have walked a bit in harbor by now. <laughs> That's an exaggeration, but I've walked quite a bit. It's good to get some exercise. Stay active. Stay healthy, or try and stay as healthy as possible. Ah, looks like they just planted some fresh grass right there. I was talking to a lady named Kim. And I've been calling her the mayor of the beach. Because she was talking a lot of beach politics, which we're not going to get into that. But she was saying that they got a bunch of m grant money for them to plant the grass up there. And that what that kind of looks like. It doesn't look like that grass is naturally placed. It looks like some humans said, I think this grass should go here. <laughs> oh, and there, oh, a 
was going to say there's not a cloud in the sky, but there's clouds over there. There's none over the lake. But there are clouds behind me in the direction I just came. So, none up above me though. There's our beautiful sun. Well, I'm going to get myself turned around. I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'll check in with you a little bit later to show you what other sights and sounds and things that I see. Huh. Because it's a private beach, looks like somebody had their dog or it could be some other little critters. Dogs aren't allowed on the campground on the beach where I'm staying. But that being said, if this is a private property section, I could bring my dog on the beach if I want to, and you can't stop me. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sign off for now. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll check in with you a little later.